It's December 2020 and for a month now I have had the new MacBook Air with Apple's homegrown M1 processor. And all in all I am super happy with the machine. But there are a few apps that just don't run as expected. And in this short video I would like to show you three of them. So let's go! Number 1. Audacity Most of you will know Audacity, a free audio editor with a giant set of functions. I have used Audacity on a daily basis and I have even recorded complete audiobooks with it. I frequently zoom in and out of waveforms. That went pretty smoothly with trackpad gestures on my old 2012 MacBook Pro. But this is what it looks like on the M1. The movement is so sluggish that everything takes a lot longer. It might not even look all that bad in the video, but it drove me crazy. But is this really the most recent version? No idea. On the Audacity website there is a link that is supposed to download version 2.4.2. But the file that is being downloaded is version 2.3.3, the one I have already installed. But luckily there is another free audio app. Ocean Audio might not have all the functions of Audacity, but there are some other aspects that I like even better. I wished however that it would use Pinch to Zoom. Number 2. Ultimaker Cura If you have seen any of my other videos, you know that I have a 3D printer. A 3D printer cannot print 3D files directly, it needs G-code, a script that tells the printer every single movement it makes. And for that I use Ultimaker Cura. Ultimaker's support says that it won't run on M1 at all. That is not even entirely true. You can slice your model into G-code, but if you want to see a preview, you either have to wait very long, or Cura crashes, or the preview window is just blank. So we can only hope for a future version of Cura to fix that. And until then, the prints might just look not quite as expected. Number 3. Reillusion Crazy Talk 8 This is an app that probably hardly anyone will know. You can create lip-synced face animations from two-dimensional pictures with it. I have linked an example in the top right corner. In Crazy Talk you must define precisely what in the picture is the face. And exactly that window often closes on its own, as if you had clicked Cancel. The only solution is to work in very small steps and always press OK in between. And since Crazy Talk is not being developed anymore, there won't be an update to fix that. On the contrary, sooner or later Apple will drop support for Intel apps completely. So. If you really rely on Crazy Talk, you will need an Intel Mac or a PC. So, if you're thinking about buying a new M1 Mac, they are phenomenal machines. But you should check whether or not your software actually runs on them. So, now it's time for the usual bag for subscribes and likes and comments. <coughs> Please. So and if you want to see me moving my data to the new machine, check out this video and see you next time.